Hi guys, it's Alice Monique with Vintage Gal 18. I'm doing a swap in your paper pantry and I'm going to show you the process and a somewhat tutorial and it's pretty much using these corks and so I guess this could also be uh, an upcycled tutorial so I'm going to upcycle and reuse these corks in a different way. I'm going to turn them into charms like these and the theme for this swap is seamstress and I used buttons and some broken up scissors and some other different buttons and some beads and then I'm using this uh, hook which is like a use I guess you can use these for fishing is what we use them for and but for this of course we're using it as a charm um, but I'm going to show you the process and um, what I'm going to do first is show you how to drill this in and um, I've already done that video prior to this video so I'm just going to attach it to this so let me show you right now and then I'll be back with the rest of the instructions hi guys so I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to put this uh, part of the video I'm just doing this real quick uh, kind of prepping my corks I'm doing a swap um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to tell you this uh, in a video prior to this so let me just show you what I'm doing I just got my drill and um, with this uh, drill bit I'm just going to uh, drill right in the middle because I was using a skewer stick and it really was not working so I'm just going slowly to make the hole it's not going to be perfect but so you just go all the way like that and then well you're going to continue pushing it but you're going to be pulling it out um, let me just show you so I'm going to be pulling this and, and then get your skewer either way get your that kebab stick and just push it through to make sure that it did go through see like it's already peeking out right there so you could just twist that back out and so I'm going to do this to all the corks because um, like I said I'm not sure where I'm putting this part of the video I'm just doing this because I'm prepping my corks but I probably will show you this in a video prior to this I'm just this is just gonna be an attachment but I'm just gonna show you this is pretty much what I'm going for is um, this but like I said I'm gonna show you this I guess before so okay bye okay so now that I've showed you how to drill your cork you're gonna gesso the cork and all I did was I got my gesso and let me get that out okay so you get your gesso and mine's pretty much already close to finishing so I all I do is I use my pencil and I scrape a little bit on the bottom out of the bottom part of the tube and then I just kind of rub it all onto the cork and it dries up fairly quickly I think it took like maybe two minutes at the most for it to set and so from there I'm gonna get this wire I'm well this is a wire I'm using and I'll leave all the supplies listed on the bottom part of the, well, where the info box is at. I'll leave everything listed there. And I'm going to cut a piece off. I'm going to, I guess, string that through. And this wire is very, very... Um, it's not sturdy it's very bendable so you might have to play around with that so let me get that going okay so I strung that uh, wire through the cork and then all I'm going to do is I'm going to get I chose two blue crystal beads I'm going to string one through I'm going to put the bead right on the top kind of covering the the hole I made with the drill and then from there, I'm going to loop it and using my, they're, I think they're called nose plier um, I don't know, this tool. <laughs> Needle nose, there you go. <laughs> Thank you. And then I'm going to get this other flat one. And I'm going to hold on to the loop I just made. Hold on to that 
and then I'm going to get this wire right here and I'm just going to twirl it around so I can secure the bead and also have a loop at the end so I can hang the charms that I'm going to add to the loop. And so you just keep going in circles like that. You're holding that in place. And so let me show you the loop I've created. Right there is the loop that I've created with that. And then right here I'm just going to take the pliers and just snip that off and then just tuck that wire in with the flat. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. So let me get that done. Okay, so I'm just going to show you again. Get your bead, string it through that wire, and then right at the top, you're going to loop it. And then after you loop it like so, it doesn't have to be perfect at first. And then you're going to get your other flat pliers and just it's just to hold on to that while you're looping this part all around and then you just get your other one and just start going in circles around that so you can have a secure loop okay let me finish that up okay so after that I've already done the two sides the both loops right there and uh, you just get the charms you're gonna put on there I have this um, this is a find and it so happens that I found this at a thrift shop a couple of weeks ago so it was just it's a lucky find that there's scissors and the theme is seamstress so I'm going to add those to the bottom of the loop and that's pretty much you, what you do is you add it to the very bottom let me just uh, get that going and show you in a minute okay so I added these charms already and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some buttons down here. So let me get that going. Before I add the buttons to the bottom, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some buttons here instead. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get like this pearly one. I think I like that one. Mm, let me see. Well, actually, I'm liking the gold. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get this gold one. It has this backing on it. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to get my cutters right here. And I'm just going to cut that on one side and do the same thing to the other just like it make it flat and all I'm going to do is I'm going to get my E6000 dab a little bit on the back of that button this is old glue to get rid of that I'm going to dab a little bit to the back of that. And just put it in the center right, right there. Let me let that set for a little bit. Okay, so all I've been doing is adding like the charms to my other corks and adding like the buttons like this one. I did this one and well this one's already a finished one, but I added this pearl and the charm scissors in the bottom. And then this one I did a little bit different. I added some pearls, and, I mean some this pearl here, but I wanted to add it this little silver deal just want it to look different and um, what I'm gonna show you is how to attach this but I don't have these right now the fishing I thought I had more I'm gonna look for them I've been looking for them I can't find them where my husband kept them but um, let me show you with just a regular um, little clasp like this I'm gonna attach this to that and then I'm going to attach it to the top of my cork charm so let me show you that so 
you will get this jump ring and just open the jump ring up using both pliers. So open that up and then you will slip the jump ring in and then in that same area or as that same jump ring is open just go ahead and attach the charm right there and then you're going to close it up that's pretty much it on that style see that's already attached so it's already a charm ready to be used and so I'm going to look for some more of these uh, fishing ones because these are a little bit uh, on the inexpensive side and they look pretty cool I like all the designs that it has um, but of course you can just stick to simplicity and go with this style whichever you like so I'll come back and show you okay so I found one of those fishing deals I don't know what they're called really I should have asked my husband but um, so there these are by themselves and then these are some other little hooks um, I'll leave all the all the information like I said below as far as the supplies and the exact names on these two different items so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my uh, jump ring just open that up just open the jump ring up and then all I'm gonna do is slip these two pieces together onto the jump ring and then I'm just gonna get my charm and just slip it through and then just close that up and that's pretty much it pretty much set right there and all this is is this opens up like so you squeeze this right here They're a little bit okay and there's the clasp and then you just close it back up they're a little tough but which is good because they're really really sturdy so I like that so see that looks real pretty I like that and so I already finished this and this and I added a button to it and so that's that one and I'm gonna put pictures up of all of the the ones that are finished I just need to add a clasp to this one and I'm not sure if I'm gonna add these to them or not I stickled them and added some of those little um, flat back um, I don't know what they're called eye candy I don't know <laughs> and these are flat back pearls so I don't know if I'm gonna add these yet to them or not if it's gonna look too bulky like at the very bottom of it I'm not sure yet but um, I don't want to make this any longer than what it is already so I hope y'all like uh, this tutorial and I'll be back with more videos thank you so much guys bye okay so these are all the finished charms and I'll leave pictures at the end see I did I ended up doing that little um, thread bobbin I guess or spool and so I'll put pictures at the end okay thanks guys bye